Hello, everybody. My name is Albert Corey. Today's topic, uh, today's topic is IRS secrets that will give you a paycheck. That's right. These are little known secrets that if common business people will do, you will have a bigger refund from the IRS. The problem is, is most of the small business clients don't know these little ninja tricks that's been part of the IRS code since day one. So today I'm gonna to start to go over them for you. In the midst of a global crisis, with billions of businesses shut down, stands one man who has the skills to save your bills. He's on a mission to let businesses know how they can grow. If you're a business owner, what does everybody want more than anything else? So I want everybody to say, say, cha-ching! He'll take on your taxes, increase your cash flow, and coach you to success. Got to make yourself look human. Once you start helping these people like that, you're going to give people experience. Albert Corey is the tax man. Why Albert Court? We well, see I've been in the accounting and small business um, services for 38 years. In a couple of years, it'll be 40 years. And we filed over 96,000 tax returns in 38 years. We've also worked with about 18,000 business owners. And I've worked with everything from actors to lizard, ran lizard ranchers and everything in between. There's not really any business that I haven't worked with. Um, you know, you can call me and ask me questions and chances are I will know all the tax deductions or most of them to make sure you get the best tax return. Because the end of the day, when you're working with me, and this isn't a prono for me, I don't want you to get an IRS letter. I don't want you crying. I want you to get the best returns without IRS letters. I also spoke and are speaking on um, 42 national business webinars and live events. You know, I've spoken near Wall Street in Las Vegas, um, Las Vegas, Nevada Convention Center and in seven countries. So you see, I've been around the world and I talk the talk. Now, just for showing up, you know, I got some pretty cool of uh, uh, gifts for you. If you take the QR code, you're gonna get my some of my best business um, advice, um, tax deductions, because I'm a tax strategist in planning. You know, we're gonna show you how to make sure you get the right corporation going, um, what you need to do, and how to keep your business going. So just take your phone and there's a little QR code you can start to use, you know, you could use to get some free gifts that are gonna start to maybe 10X your business. Now, the name of our program, I guess, how the IRS secrets that will give you a paycheck. That's right. We're gonna show you what I coach and I've been helping my clients for almost 40 years. That's right, I've been doing this for 40 years. Pretty much in the same area in Miami, but we got clients all over the country. We have clients everywhere from um, Seattle, Washington to Key West, Florida, from Maine to San Diego and everywhere in between. Uh, this year we serviced 41 states and five countries. So you see, we know business tax returns. You know, I'm here to make sure you get the best return without getting an IRS letter because I don't want IRS letters. So now, the first tip we're gonna go over is, do not use tax return software. Meaning, do not go out, do not go use TurboTax. In case you haven't realized, guys and girls watching this, that when you start buying the business version of TurboTax, it's gonna cost you about 150 to $200. The only really, really free version is when you try to do the single um, tax return that you get like one W-2 form 
you get one W-2 form and that's it. And even then I'll be skeptical because the following year, you know, they're going to make you pay for it. Um, they're going to ask you a whole bunch of hoops to go through to make you do the return. But that's not what we're here for. The reason why I don't like business people doing tax returns on TurboTax or any tax return software, they don't know what they're doing. That's right. They don't know what you're doing. Because most of these softwares, they go screen to screen, press one, press two, plus fill in the blanks. Now, I don't know about you, that you don't, you don't do tax returns for a living. You know, the story I always talk about is if you're a baker, you know, you know how to bake cakes. You don't know how to do tax returns. You don't know how to do the right lines. But I get a lot of clients that, yo, yo, I know what I'm doing. I go, fine. That's how you can get an IRS audit letter. Well, you really, in today's society, you're not going to get an audit letter. Because as of this day of this taping, which is November 1st, 2021, we're just coming out of COVID, that when you try to call the IRS, good luck. You know, there's nobody there to answer the phone. So you're going to get a letter and you're going to be in limbo land. And you're not going to know what to do. Now, here's how you get the letter. So you're going through your tax return especially the business return. You think you know what you're doing. You go on business returns for sole proprietors or single member LLCs. You go to the Schedule C on the return. It's a personal return. There's a bunch of lines with a bunch of deductions. Here's the trick. The IRS can check every single line. That uh, Somebody can program to make sure you check every line. In a minute, I'll explain why business returns, uh, 1065s, 1120Ss, that can't happen. So what's going to happen is, you know, you're going to do your tax return. You're going to go put like $14,000, $15,000 in meals and entertainment. And guess what? IRS is not going to pay you. They know because the computer is going to be designed that's going to say, and every year it's different, they know or somebody in IRS land program department says that probably the average you know, business owner might spend three or $4,000 in food for taking people out for businesses, especially self-employed. So that they know that line 16 should not be more than $4,000. Ding, 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 ding. They send a letter out to make sure they say, okay, show me all the receipts. Show me your logbook of where you ate and who you talked to and what's the business. Another big mistake I see when people try to do it themselves is on car miles. You know, I had somebody who um, was has a taxi cab or something, and they put 140,000 miles. Guys, whoever's watching this, okay, I do a lot of long-haul truck drivers, and they don't do 140,000 miles, okay? You know, or they'll put like 40,000 business miles for their car. On Schedule C, unless you're a long-haul truck driver, it's not going to happen. So what happens is the IRS computer goes ding, 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 ding. That's, that, that doesn't sound right. And now you're going to get a letter and say, prove me. Prove those numbers. Now you got to get a logbook. You got to go through all the hoops. But if you went to a tax professional who knows what they're doing, that would have said, put the brakes on, whoa, darling, whoa. You know, you can't use that much because you're going to get a letter. And going in my office, I'd rather have you walked and get a letter because we know what to take and what to do. And a lot of people I try to promote, and you do, you open up a corporation. You open up a little 1065 company return. Because on a company return, the IRS can't really audit you. I mean, they probably could, uh, but there can't be no physical audits um, because just the way it is, there is really no lines to do. You send it in and you're going to sign you did it to the best of your ability. But when we start doing it for you, we're going to make sure that it's done right. It's not going to be crazy. And that's how I've stayed in business all my life. 
because everything I do, I make sure that the returns are not crazy. Bottom line is, you know, you don't want to do your tax returns yourself. You know, a, a story I tell people all the time is if you have a heart attack, you have a heart attack. And by the way, I hope you never have it. Um, everything I tell you, this is what I tell my clients. Please go ask your tax consultant if you can do it. If you have any questions, you know, you could always find me. My name's Albert Corey. Just Google Albert Corey. And I'm all over the internet, Facebook, YouTube, you name it. And we're there. So, you know, you know, the joke, like I said, I talk about is you get a cord. <laughs> you're having a heart attack. You get a light cord. You cut one side off to the light. You plug it in and put it on your heart. Of course not. You're either going to go to a cardiologist or you're going to call 911. So why should you do your tax return? Like I said earlier, you need to work on your business, not in your business. In the midst of a global crisis, with billions of businesses shutting down, stands one man who has the skills to save your bills. He's on a mission to let businesses know how they can grow. He'll take on your taxes, increase your cash flow, and coach you to success. Albert Corey is the tax man. Contact Albert Taxman Corey for a free consultation today. So now, our next topic is accounting service. See, just as bad as TurboTax, okay, you got to make sure whoever you get to do the tax returns knows what they're doing. You know, you want to start to ask these people the questions, whoever you use, how many years you've been in business? How many tax returns do you do? Do you do this type of business? What, what does that mean? Are you an e-filed person? You know, do you, are you an e, can you e-file or we got a mail? So how you go find the people, obviously you can get referrals from your family or friends, which is good. But like, like, like I will always tell you, make sure you call them and ask them the questions before you go there. The second thing you want to go do is maybe you want to go check Google. You know, I get a lot of Google calls every day. You want to check your reviews. You don't want to check your what people say. And there again, afterwards, you want to call them and make sure you ask them all the questions. Make sure they know what you're doing. Because some accounting offices, they might not do Uber Eats, they might not do truck drivers, or they might not do what you do. So you want to ask them, you know, do you do my business? Now, once you go there, let me tell you some really ninja tricks that I've seen there. Trick number one, not trick, you know whether they're the real deal, is if they go do, oh, another question to ask them, are you willing to sign the tax return? Here's trick number one, is if at the bottom of the return, it says self-employed, say run. Why you're going to run is chances are if you get an IRS letter or you're going to call, they're not going to be there. Another time to run is if you got to go to their houses. Statistically, if you go to their houses and something happens, they aren't going to be there. Run. The third thing I'm going to tell you to go run is um, make sure they give you a pretty folder. It doesn't have to be, you know, pretty, pretty, but make sure. Do you know how many returns I've seen that they get the regular manila folder? Now, I'm not trying to sign vain, okay, but a, a good tax preparer, a real tax office, you know, they're going to give you a, a, a folder that has the company name in it you know, company name and company phone number on the folder. You know, there's all kinds of styles, but make sure they give you a folder. Do not, if they give you a folder with a sticker on it, I'm going to tell you, run, they're not going to be there. You know, what I found was this year during COVID, I made a whole lot of extra clients because a lot of these wannabes weren't there when things got the rough, got rough. When they tried to call somebody, for questions or comments where their refund was, okay, they weren't there. You know, same thing with bookkeeping. You know, there's TurboTax. 
I mean, sorry, there's QuickBooks, but guess what? That takes your time. You know, I have everybody say, well, I could do my own. Tur okay, I know you can do your own TurboTax. You know, I can probably still paint my own house, but I don't paint my own house because I want to make time. I can make more money paying somebody else to do it. So why should you do it? Get somebody to do it for you. Like I said, you know, you could always come to me. You know, you can Google me. My name's Albert Corey. See, there I am. Oops, sorry. In the corner. And I'll be, I'll be always the happer um, answer any of your questions. Because I want you to, you know, pay less to the IRS and put more money in your pocket. You know, we filed the 93,000 tax returns. My average client has been with me for 20 years. Average. Okay. So I'm here to help you. Make sure the people you're with are going to always help you. Now, another big thing that I run into all the time in my 39 years in business, almost four decades, is make sure you know the dates. Okay. You got to make sure you know the dates. What does that mean? Every state, every um, revenue form, okay, has a date that it's due. When you miss the dates, that guy, right, the government's going to crucify you, penalize you, make you pay extra money. So I'm going to tell you some simple and easy tricks that I've been telling my clients for the last, you know, 30, 39 years to make sure. The first date you got to know if you're a business is that all business returns are due on March 15th. That's right. They're due March 15th. Not April 15th, March 15th. The workaround is you make sure you file an extension. Why you want to file an extension is if you file after that date, the government is going to, whether it's the IRS or whether some of the state tax returns, they're going to charge you late fees for charging late. So if you got an LLC, a corporation, they're going to charge you $200 per shareholder. You see, I see this all the time, especially when people open up their own corporations or LLCs. They didn't pay attention to date. They come to me around April 14th or April 15th. They then get, and I said, you know, you're already late. Oh, I didn't know. Who opened up the company? Me. Well, that could have been a problem. Maybe you went in per professional you would know the dates. So the IRS is going to charge you $200 per shareholder. So if you're an LLC, that's two partners times three months, March, no, it's two months, March and April. If you came after April 15th, that's going to be three months. That's $600 that you shouldn't have to pay. That's not paying extra tax. That's paying late fees. If you filed the extension, you would be you'd be good up till September 15th on your personal on the business returns and and uh, October 15th on the on the um, personal returns. Another thing that I run into all the time is for people who open up their corporations on their own or they don't pay attention. You know, if you're my client, you'll see me on social media telling you the dates when your business, when your corporate returns, when your business returns are due, especially when it has to do with your um, state renewal. Every state has a different renewal. And if you're late, they're going to charge you. Obviously, I know my home state even better. Um, in Florida, the returns, um, corporate renewals are due April 28th because when you pay on the actual date, May 1st, they're going to charge you a late charge. And every day afterwards, they charge you a late charge. Meaning on April, on, you know, so what happens is on April 28th, a corporation is 150 and LLC is 130. So in Florida, after May 1st, it jacks to 400 for a um, corporation and 500 for an LLC. So why'd you have to pay that extra money if you paid on time? So make sure if you have a corporation in another state, what you need to do is Google 
the division um, secretary of state division of corporations and they're going to tell you what date the company is due and they'll have it there they'll tell you all the late charges so now another way you can put more money in your pocket is knowing the dates is make sure you pay your estimated payments but you see when you come to my office that i always get the question do i gotta pay quarterly payments well my answer is is if you have your own business and you don't want to pay one big chunk at the end the answer is yes okay the answer is yes you don't want to pay the big chunk so the answer is yes second of all if you pay everything all at one time the irs is going to charge you 36 percent interest between penalties and interest the workaround is make sure you do your quarterly payments you know they're due april 15th june 15th sorry april 15th july september and january you start making those payments those quarterly payments, you're going to start putting more money in your pocket. And isn't that the name of this whole thing is to pay less to the IRS. Now, we just talked about filing tax returns. Oops. We just talked about when you file the returns on time. You know, we were talking about that. So let me do a quick little um, recap on how you make sure um, you put money in your pocket. Step one is make sure you don't do it your own um i'll guarantee you if you go to somebody who knows what they're doing on their tax returns you're going to save a whole lot of money number two don't do it yourself because i want you to work on your business meaning you know if you're a baker um electrician go out get leads go out and do the work and you're going to put more money in your pocket than you trying to do it yourself and the third thing you know you need to know the third thing to know is um make sure you file your stuff on time because when you file stuff on time you know you're going to put money in your pocket and you're not going to pay late charges and isn't that the whole point of everything so now if you text taxman to 26786 oops I think this went crazy here. That's okay. We're back here. So if you text taxman to 26786, we're going to give you my 50 top tax deductions that you can put more money in your pocket. You're also going to get my 28 simple hacks I use to build my business. You know, I use these hacks every day to grow. And there, you're also going to get my biggest tips to save money on your tax return. So just text taxman to 26786. If you have any questions or comments, you, know, you can follow me on social media. Um, I'm everywhere, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Um, on YouTube, I got a whole bunch of videos on how to open up corporations, how to do tax deductions and everything. You can get all my social media and a free consultation when you go to Albert C360. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or comments, you know, you could always Google me at um, Albert Corey or just go to Albert C360. Thank you, everybody, and have a good evening.